If we are so bullish in Tesla, why not just buy TSLL? That's Tesla leverage stock. So let's jump into that. Great question. Uh, let me explain what it is and why I would never touch it. One, um, a couple of kind of risk management reasons. Losses can be magnified. And leverage ETFs use borrowed money to amplify the returns of the underlying asset, which means your gains can be magnified, but also your losses can be magnified. Now, there's also a problem called daily resets, and that is the returns of leverage ETFs are reset every day, which means that if the underlying asset goes up in price one day and then down in price the next day, you still could lose money. And I'll show you in the chart how that works, even if the underlying asset went up overall. And then there's a thing called path dependency. Uh, the returns of leverage ETFs are dependent on the path that the underlying asset takes which means that if the underlying asset goes up and then down and up and down and up and down, you could lose more money than if the underlying asset had just gone down, believe it or not. And illiquidity, leverage ETFs can be illiquid. So if you're moving large amounts of money, it's no good. Also, there are tons of other additional risks. They have high fees. Uh, this one, I think, is 1% fee. It's complex. Uh, some people find it complex to understand and have what weighting do you use to hedge your actual assets. And by the way, we do use inverse and leverage assets in the pair trading on steroids model. Uh, so they can be very helpful, but you don't want to be in these trades for a long period of time. Let me explain why. This is the Tesla chart versus TSLL chart. Look at where we were back in, well, I can read the date, but back in say summer, November, October last year. They were kind of close, but look at how the gap grows. There's a little double arrow on the top left, if you can see it, versus the top right. This is how you lose. It's like paying 2% management fee, 1% management fee, and you get all the up and down stuff that I, that is path dependent, which basically investing in funds is not equivalent to investing in directly in the stock, and the fees suck, and so does the slippage on the trading routine. So, no, <laughs> hope that helps. But if you, if you are doing a short-term trade, you want to go long on the way up and leverage long on the way down, it can work, but you've got to be in there like for like a post earnings dip or something like that.